Okay, we are here to show you how to reset your forgotten password on a Cisco switch, which is the 3650 48 port, even 24. I believe also applies the same rules for 40, for 36 or 3850. Anyway, so let me just give you a, a quick demonstration on what's happening, what's going on. So the top one, the top switch right here, and the bottom switch, they're both identical. The reason I put them one face the other way so i can explain it just quickly in case some of you do not know what's happened so let's just start off from the left so anyone when anyone someone tells you to console onto the switch or to the router this is what they're referring to there's a console port there's a management port uh most of us know what these means but let's just concentrate on the console port and these are the fans are they're really easy to pull and take out so let me just show you uh, let me just back up a little bit you press it you press it like this and you take if in case you need to change it or something wrong with it it's really simple and also these switches are redundant power supply which means one is a backup if in case uh, one of the battery goes down or something wrong faulty and to take it out it's really also again it's simple it's just this button or lever you just to the left and you pull it there is a battery and that's how it looks it's a long one okay and it's sometimes if there is something wrong with it uh, it may have an it has an indicator right there let me just show you it would say acknowledge okay it would probably be yellow or red if there is a problem and the next one next to it, it's an empty slot which is really easy just to pull and you could put the next battery okay so this is enough explanation with that so in order for you to reset the uh, the switch you need to come up here to the left on this particular one this is what i'm talking about this is the mode you press it you hold it for 10 15 seconds till these lights turn i believe only those two they usually turn orange or amber once they become solid amber you let go and that's when you know that that switch has been reset so let's demonstrate how to do this thing first of all you need to make sure um, you have the power cord for this particular switch i just want to show you something see how this is a little bit different from your regular computer it has a little notch in here you see what i'm talking about so make sure you have the right one if in case you bought one and use one or you need to have the same identical one uh, it is different from your regular computer you see this one it's not gonna fit, it's not gonna work. So just keep that in mind, I just let you know. Okay, so the other thing is you need to have a console cable. The console cable looks like this, a yellow, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> a blue, agua blue. And it's a nine pin female to an RJ45. It's usually comes with a brand new uh, switch. Usually I use one, you may not. And then you need also an adapter. Adapter is also a USB that plugs in into your laptop or your computer with a nine male pin where they plug in together like this and you play it into the back of the computer. Okay, so the next thing is we need to do to reset it. This one does not have a power button. Okay, so the way to do it is you just plug it in in here and once it comes up, you hold this button, the, the mode, 15 to, uh, 10 to 15 seconds. So let's do that. So let me just plug it in while I'm trying to do it at the same time. So let's go back here. And it started, so I'm holding. You just have to wait. They'll turn, I believe, solid orange. So let's see. Sorry about the shake, guys. If you have any questions, comments, please leave me a comments. Let me know. The next step is we will show you how to reset everything else. There it goes. And then you let go. When you let go is the next thing is you need to do, which I'm going to show you the next uh, thing, is you want to make sure on your computer which uh, com is it. What with the port so i already lined it up you need to have a putty and to find out it's you go into the device manager as you can see it says here 
USB to serial port COM4. Okay, great, thanks. You have a good day, guys.